Hey Crafty Peeps, it's Andrew Holt with Andrew Holt Designs. I am working on a 8x8 canvas. Um, this canvas is from Canvas Corp, Corp and it's about one and one inch thick by 8x8, um, eight eight, but I want to make sure. No, it's a 10 by 10 I'm sorry. 10 by 10 um, Today I'm going to show you just how to have fun and create a canvas. I'm going to be using some Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and the colors will come across the screen. I'm going to be using some um, stencils, some flowers, a vintage photo, just an array of stuff. Also, I'm going to be using some glitter from Prima. This is the Ebony and Ivory set. Um, this is Art Extravagance Glitter Set by Finnebar. Also, I painted the canvas with Art Basics Heavy Gesso White. Also, uh, by Prima and Finnebar. So I love this stuff. You get a huge tub of it and it's thick. It's amazing. And you can also use it as a, um, a molding paste, uh, to do stencils with because it's really thick and heavy. And I'll demonstrate that right now. Um, it's a gesso and a molding paste kind of all in one. Um, and as you can see, it's really, thick and what I'm going to do is I am going to run it over the stencil and it cleans up wonderfully too um, on your stencils it's a lot easier I think because it's it's not mold and paste thick I mean as far as like really thick but it's thick enough to where you can use it as a molding paste and that's what I'm doing here and I'm going to use the stencil all around this is a, a um, art is um, stencil by uh, oh I'll have to look that up. I can't remember the name right now. Um, I can see the logo in my head right now. Um, it'll come to me. Trust me. I'll I'll find out. Um, but I like this. I like script stencils and stuff. They really add a beautiful look to your mixed media project. And as you can see, it the gesso does beautifully and acts like a molding paste because it is thick. And I like it. Now, once this um. Once I dry this thoroughly, um, then I will begin to add color and glitter, and I'm going to start building the background of this. So, I'm all, you know what, I'm going to order the 12 by 12 of this stencil, because I think it would be a lot easier to do larger areas like this uh, the crafters workshop see I told you I'd remember it it's art is by the crafters workshop oh, ho, ho. yep okay so um, I'm gonna dry this and then the video is going to speed up and you're just gonna watch the process of me building the background and preparing it and getting it ready for what I um, want to use it for. Um, I am going to use a vintage photo from my Pinterest board and I will give a link to that um, as well. And uh, I'm going to go wash this. 
and uh, then you'll just sit and watch the process. But see, it acts as a gesso and a molding paste, which is what I love. Two in one product. So, um, enjoy the process.
I've tried to do this ending like six times, but I keep getting a phone call or Skype or whatever. But it's finally done. And I'm going to go over the products with you. I'm going to go over the colors I used as Lindy. Um, I used uh, Jolly Roger Red, which is a moon shadow mist. I used uh, Alpine Ice Rose, which is a starburst. I used a touch of Van Dyke Sepia, which is another moon shadow mist. Moon shadows are their vintage colors with different color mica in them. Um, I used the Ramblin' Rose Pink, which is a starburst. I used my favorite, Bodacious Blush, which is a starburst. I used the Wild Honeysuckle Coral, which is a starburst. And finally, I used the Cockabells Coral, which is another starburst. I also used Inca Gold. I used the Silver Inca Gold. Um, the flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, this flower, the large one, was from Michael's Dollar Bin. I just took the center out and put a uh, beautiful pearl center. Um, the filigrees that you saw me ink up, they are by a company named y Ysinka. I'll put a, they're from Poland, made in Poland. Um, I'll have to, uh, I think Wild Orchid Crafts sells these. So Wild Orchid Crafts has these um, cutouts, I believe. Um, also, uh, the glitter that you saw me use with this, this stuff is by uh, Stampendous. I use silver crushed glass glitter and Stampendous is rose color fragments. And it's just fragments of uh, paper or some kind of shell-like uh, product. And it looks really beautiful on here. The necklace here, it was a broken piece of Avon necklace I had. And uh, the bling here, this beautiful glass bling that you see here um, that I use is from Fiona uh, over on her boutique store. It's Jennings Crafts Boutique. And um, these are beautiful pieces of glass. Uh, rhinestone uh, bling and it's just gorgeous it shines so beautifully a uh, very a very high quality of bling it's not plastic it's glass um, and I use some pearl uh, garland here um, put it in there and then of course just different flowers I painted the roses as you see here using some of the uh, lindies um, and, of course, you saw the background. The ink I used on the sides is by Prima. Um, it's one of their chalk edgers. And this one's called Attic Dust, which is one I really like to use a lot of, especially on vintage photos. The vintage photo here will be in my Etsy. This one is a 5 by 7 photo. And uh, you can use the go over there and you'll be able to download it. Also, you'll be able to download it in that uh, in a larger formation uh, so that you can make a 12 by 12 canvas. And but the 5 by 7 works well with a 10 by 10 canvas. And again, the canvas is from Canvas Court. It's one of their one inch wide um, real cloth canvases. Very beautiful. Really loved it. And uh, I think it turned out amazing. Um, so if you have any questions about any of the products I used in this uh, project, please let me know. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Share it with all your crafty friends. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my Crafty Peep Society channel where I talk about different designers and crafters in the community. Um, and like always, stay for photos. I'll have detailed photos at the end. And until next crafty project, ladies, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>